When you have your username and password in, you will go to where it says My Students. You click on the tab My Students. Let's say that we are going to change uh, a student in your homeroom class. So let's say we go and we find, let's say, Smith. Okay, and we'll look for all the Smiths that are in the di uh, that are in uh, our campus and in our classroom. So let's say this uh, first per this first person, excuse me. Let's just say this first person uh, is in our class. We're going to check on their name, and then we're going to click Change Password. When you click on change password, you will have a black box that pops up, okay? You need to uncheck the check mark. And then you need to provide the password that I have instructed in your email to put in. It needs to be the same pattern for everybody on this campus, okay? I'm not telling you in the video um, what the password is, but it needs to be the same for everybody on the campus. Okay? If you see that the password does not meet requirements, that means you have done something wrong. Okay? That means you need to go back and make sure that you have typed in the password correctly. Okay? You need to make sure that you typed in the password correctly. And then the change password will pop up. Mine is not popping up because I don't have the right credentials. Look at the credentials at the top to see what you need to add. But make sure you have read my email to understand what the credentials are. And then you'll click change password and then the password will be complete. If you have this box checked, that means they'll have to reset their password and they do not need to do that at all. That needs to be unchecked. You need to do this for the 25 plus homeroom kids in your classroom. You as a classroom homeroom teacher are responsible for making sure that your kids are logged in using the right password credentials. It is their username, first initial, last initial, and you know the numbers, okay? I'm not going to go over the numbers because this is on a video, okay? First initial, last initial, and those special numbers as their username and then the password that I have instructed to give you. That is the only way that this will work as far as logging in onto a desktop computer. Teachers, you will no longer be able to log in with the generic password. You will have to log in with your account if you're using a, a teacher projector computer. Here is what it's going to look like when you are logging in as a student in Google. If I am logging in to an account on Google, going to google.com and signing in, or if I'm on the Chromebook, this is what my login will look like. Obviously, if you've logged in enough times, your own login account will be already up and you will just have to type in the password, okay? But if not, you will have to have the students or yourself log in as your username and then the at aldeanisd.org. Again, that is the username and then at aldeanisd.org. Again, that is only for logging into Google. When you are logging into the desktop, as if you were going into the computer lab, you will only need just your username. Desktop, username, Google, the whole entire address. Your password is going to be the same password that you created for your students to log in from the service console. Okay? So if, again, Bradford Harris was the student, he is going to log in under his password that his teacher created, and he should be logged in. The only time, once again, that you log in to 
Google Chrome or the Chromebook is when you're using the full username address. Desktop is just the username and both the passwords are the same. The people who are responsible for making sure that this happens are only the classroom homeroom teachers. RTI teachers are not responsible. Paras are not responsible. Any co-teachers are not responsible as well. If you are a homeroom classroom teacher, you are responsible for making sure that your 25 plus kids only are logged on. Again, if your student has problems logging in, you as a teacher need to go back into the service console as I instructed to redo their password account, not your iTech. You can do this yourself, okay? There are at least 200 plus students on this campus from Altitude State Courtyard, E-Tech Club, and Miss Roy's Computer Literacy Kids that I have already learned how to do this. You should have at least one to two kids per courtyard that are in one of these uh, three um, classes, either E-Tech, Computer Literacy, or from Altitude State. They can show you how a student is supposed to log on. So before you go to an adult or an iTech or a librarian, consult this video and then consult a student in your class or in your courtyard that is in one of the three classes, E-Tech, Altitude State, or Computer Literacy, to learn how to log on. If you have any questions and you've done all those steps and it has not worked, please put in a tech request to your iTech. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.